Hi, I'm Zach, and today's episode we're going to show you how to get to a 400 pound bench by properly training the lats and also the tries. But in today's episode, we're just going to focus on the lats, and then in next, next week's episode, we're going to focus on the tries. So, this is Nick. He's been training with me for a decade, and he started his bench out here at about 165. What's your bench max now? Uh, 375. So, pretty good improvement. <clears throat> and so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the lats here of how I train them to get up to that. And what we're going to show you is today is the difference between doing a wide grip and really foc on, focusing on scapular retraction and then doing a close grip and focusing and doing more of a low row and focusing more on just the lats. You want to train both. You want to train the scapular retractors are going to be more of your your rhomboids and your posterior delt, and then we're gonna show you just how to isolate the lats. You wanna be doing both exercises in order to drive up your bench and make your lats extremely strong. The scapular retraction, we always just go straight bar, um, pronated with the, with the palms facing down, and we go a little wider around here. You can also go out here. And he's focusing on retracting his shoulder blades, and he's keeping it almost a fist length in front of him. Go ahead. And this way he can really go ahead up back and forward. This way he can really focus on scapular retraction. And if you're doing it right, you're stopping right where your scaps stop. Okay, so right where you can pinch your shoulder blades back, that's where he stopped. And the reason is, is because if he goes, go ahead and just try to pull and let your shoulders around, pull all the way back. That's what a lot of people end up doing. Go ahead and do it again. They try to pull all the way back and then they end up using their their internal rotators here and also their upper trapezius to create the action rather than focusing on the retractors and really developing the hell out of your rhomboids and your rear delts. That's the objective of this exercise. And if you notice here, go ahead. He's just a couple, three inches above his belly button, okay? And now we're gonna show you the next one. Keep in mind too, when you're trying to work on the scapular retraction exercise with the wide grip, we are breaking that bar in half. We're trying to have that feeling so the elbows stay in. The reason we're doing that is because we're externally rotating. We're trying to engage the external rotators, infraspinatus, posterior delt, so that we don't engage the internal rotators and do this. As soon as you break that bar, those scaps are gonna be forced to stop and that's how we get the athlete to really lock in place and keep it a fist length away. Yeah. So the next grip, what he's doing is, so hold on, take a break. <clears throat> don't only do what I say no I'm just kidding so the next grip he's taking is going to be actually a closer grip and the reason is is because we're going to focus on the lats the wider you go it's more like doing like a rear like a rear delt exercise here when you're going like this okay that's why the wider you go the more posterior delt that you're going to focus on the closer grip that you go and the more narrow you go the more it's gonna hit up the lats. And he's actually on this, he's gonna go really low, go ahead, and he's gonna let his shoulders round forward slightly as he leans back, go ahead. And now, he's getting completely in to the lats. Go ahead, come forward with it a little more, and now lat, yep. And notice how he's rolling just a little bit forward to touch, and look at, so he was three inches above with the, when he was doing the retraction. <clears throat> now he's doing low roll, look at how low he is, right down to his navel. And that's what gets right into the, to the to the side of the lats right there. And also with the, the narrow grip low row, the reason that you are going low is because we want to take the upper trapezius out of the equation. If you try to pull higher, now you're involving this. If we go low, even though the shoulders row forward slightly, it's still targeting the lats and taking everything away from the upper trapezius. And now do the other one, so go wide grip. Okay. And now, see, now that's all posterior delts. So that's the difference between the two, and look at how much higher that is. So you want to do both. You want to do a low row, and then you want to do a scapular retraction exercise. The low row is going to really tie into lats, and the scapular retraction exercise is going to tie into the rhomboids and the rear delts. So now we can do a high, we can do a lat pull the exact same way. So what he's going to do is he's going to take a, a wider grip and he's going to go down, go ahead, and he's going to pinch his scaps and he's, notice how he's staying almost a fist length away. Go ahead. <clears throat> now watch, go ahead and try to touch your chest. Watch what happens to his shoulder blades. Go ahead. 
See how they, they're gonna rotate and roll. That's what we don't wanna do. Okay, go ahead and rest. So do it again, right? So this is all rhomboid now and rear delt. Okay, like you're doing a reverse fly. Okay, right now, now we're gonna do narrow grip. What I like doing when I'm up above here is I like doing a chin, like more like a chin up grip, okay? So, what do you, and you can do this way, but we're gonna now make it narrow, so we're gonna take that reverse fly action out of it, and we're gonna focus just on the lat. And he's gonna touch way down low and lean way back. Go ahead. Yep, and he's gonna let the shoulders round forward, just a hair, and it's gonna be all lat. Go a little lower. Yep, that's good. So see how he's like right at sternum level. Now, now turn the hands over. Good. And now go ahead. See, he's right down here, right below the sternum. He can go even a little lower if he wants to. Like that, there it is. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And also tune in for next week and we're gonna show you how to focus and isolate on the tries to get your bench up even more.